About four years ago, there was this big global event that forced everyone to become a streamer. And suddenly we all had opinions on which program was best for calls, remotes, contribution, or whatever you like to call it. Some programs have died, but others have improved. And I'm testing three of those today. Hi, I'm Jeremy Carrasco, head of production at LiveX. And did I get this guitar out for fun? Of course not, it's for science. This is Zoom versus vMix versus Ribbon. Zoom received a ton of development, acquiring and introducing broadcast solutions in the past few years. Right now, you're watching a feed from Zoom ISO. This program gets 1080p video and isolated audio straight out of normal old Zoom, making it easier to bring into professional broadcasts. It gained ground on programs like Rivet, which use a streaming protocol called SRT. And while SRT is usually higher quality than other options, it's also trickier to deploy because it requires more stable networks and usually has more latency. But it was worth it sometimes. WebRTC, which vMix Call and a ton of other programs use as their backbone, can vary a lot in quality and traditionally doesn't handle wideband audio very gracefully. Zoom uses its own protocol, more like WebRTC, and it was seen as lower quality. But in 2024, especially for office setups like this, it barely matters. Check it out. I'm using a 1080p webcam built into my MacBook Pro and the built-in mic, and it looks pretty good. You could make the same argument with an SRT solution like Rivet. This webcam looks like a webcam no matter where it goes. But this is an easy environment. We should step it up to a more difficult scenario like this. I'm outdoors with a good camera setup. This is a Blackmagic Pocket 6K with a Canon lens stopped all the way down to F18. So it's very sharp. You'll know that if you see any softness, it's the programs. It's going into a Blackmagic web presenter, which feeds all three at the same time. This guitar is going to simulate a more difficult audio setup. You should be able to pick up separation between the music and my voice. Zoom really impressed us here. I thought the camera looked great, much better than I expected, and almost as good as SRT. And with the performance audio on, it sounds pretty good too. Without performance audio, the guitar gets completely cut off. If you can hear the motorcycle and the air conditioner, then you know it's probably doing a good job. VMix gives a more contrasty look, and it's a bit less sharp overall, but the audio sounds great. I was actually able to separate each channel into left and right so we could mix the voice and the guitar separately, though you'll hear it mixed down to mono. Rivet sounds good too. SRT in general is going to sound better. You get a lot more control over the audio. And it looks the best, but honestly, not that much better than Zoom, which again, is quite surprising. Overall, well, I wouldn't recommend recording your next album like this, but they all sound pretty good. And they look good enough to prove that these calls aren't just for talking heads in an office. They can look and sound good. So it's still a matter of preference. Just like before, there are also a lot of non-quality reasons why you would pick one over another, like ease of use or stability. So I'm going to keep using all of the options for different scenarios, just like before. But for you, consider revisiting and testing programs for yourself as they continue to be developed and improved. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe so you can catch our next comparison. See you then.